Good morning, my beautiful people. How are you? I'm so excited. I have been um, I've been thinking about today's episode for quite a while. Oh, Courtney, you're so sweet. I do love me some Courtney. I was trying to find um, the right emoji to send you, and I was like, I don't know. There was like um, a I, I, there. Let's just say I was I wanted to find the first cute one, and that is what I wanted to send. So we have uh, so many people in here. I love it. I am so excited. You all, you have no idea how much joy I get out of our lives. It's like the highlight of my my platform. I, I am just I am schmitten with you all. And that's the word of the day, schmitten. Oh, did you hear that Pee Wee Herman passed away? I was so sad. And it was just like, aw, Pee Wee Herman. And that's just, it reminded me of the Pee Wee Herman's Playhouse. So anyway, we're having positive thoughts. No more negative thoughts. We have Linda. We have Lux and Classy. Ooh, thank you for joining. Mrs. Cox, Linda. We have, oh my gosh, we have so many people here. We have Kelly. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Okay, so what I did is... Um, we're, we're going to jump right into this because I think that this is a, an episode that um, it needs a whole hour. And this is just something I think that we're going to be doing more and more often, but it is extremely important. And um, so what we're going to do is I did a lot of research and I kind of went down the rabbit hole on this one, but I really wanted to provide you the information in the most authentic way possible. And it, it's something that I thought we could journey together. And I want this to be more about cute fashion. And, and, and tell me if you think I'm wrong, but I just don't think it's right to just be like, to get to categorize us and I mean I don't want it to be like well this is your fashion over 50 and I don't want it to be well well this is your fashion because of a certain size I want to take this as a really cool time that we're hanging out and Tina and um hi Lonnie I'm on vacation from working get a pedicure and watching you I am so glad that you're able to join us Tina but I want this to be an episode where we hang out and we just share really cool, cool fashion because I don't want it to ever be like anybody feels like they're in a certain group. And I want to acknowledge you for, I mean, I acknowledge me for being older, but anyway, I'm not going to, I'm not going to turn this into a lecture. I'm just going to have fun with you all, but I am going to tell you really quick that Moist Salt says, as a plus size person, I honestly agree. I just want everyone to have access to everything. Exactly. And thank you for understanding where I was trying to go with that, but I don't want it to be like, well, we're going to have to take a special hour for you because you're the minority. And I just don't think that's right. That's not getting pleasure out of fashion. And fashion and style for me is something that brings me a lot of joy. And since it brings me joy, I really want to share that with everybody, regardless as to size or age. Hello, Kathy. So really quick though, I do want to let you know that I am counting down to my birthday and I'm going to be on, um, I think I'm going to do right about nine o'clock just as normal on Saturday. But what I, where I'm getting at is I'm trying to come up with a new outfit um, every, um, every day until my birthday, until Saturday. And so I came up with this new outfit idea from watching an episode of Friends last night. And Rachel had on this outfit, and I want to show it to you really quick. I want to show you my Rachel-inspired outfit because I'm going to tell you, um, I'm going to tell you about it. So look at how cute this is. And then I have my, my leg sold loafers. But I saw this outfit on her and I was like, yes, this is amazing. Because what I want to do is, part of my message on this one is I was sitting there and I was watching Friends last night and I love Friends. It's just one of those shows that I can watch that, that I walk away with a feel good feeling. And sometimes I just need that escape. And I was looking at all the clothes that they were wearing. And I'm like, gosh, those are so cute. And I was like, I remember wearing that. And I remember wearing that. And oh, that would be so cute. But you know what? That's so like 1998. And I stopped and I'm like, why? Why do I have to just deny myself a cute outfit because it was popular 
back on, you know, in the 1990s. So my message to you today is, is that if you're sitting there and you're watching TV, regardless as to what decade it was on, if you find inspiration in any outfit you see, I really want you to, to wear it. It doesn't matter. So I am wearing my Rachel inspired outfit today because I wanted to dress cute for you. And I'm putting together a video that I'm going to be posting on Saturday for the countdown to my outfits to my 59th birthday because I'm celebrating making another year. I'm celebrating the fact that I'm still alive because you know what? Not everybody gets this gift. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to apologize for still being here and I'm not going to fade away for still being here. I'm going to thrive um, each and every day regardless regardless as to what my age is. So enough about me, August 5th. I was born on August 5th. Um, tomorrow's actually Robert's birthday. Robert's, um, Robert's birthday is just three days before mine, so we'll be celebrating his. Um, let's see here. Lex and Classy is new. Let's welcome them in. Yes. Yeah, we've already, yep. We are, she is, I am very glad that we have everybody. We actually have 17 people watching right now, which is very exciting. And so, Ulo D. Okay, so let's, let's, let's talk about our size inclusive fashion for today. And I, like I said, I kind of went down the rabbit hole on this one, but I was having so much fun. I am going to be showing you, Teresa, I'm a jean girl and love um, tie dye clothes. I love short hair with undercut. Blue is my color. Absolutely rocking it. And Teresa was actually, and Tina didn't get the, the notification, but I did my first, um, my first little fashion class on Instagram on Saturday and she was there. So that was pretty cool. So anyway, I'm digressing, don't let me do that. So what we're gonna do is I found um, a really cool TikTok creator who is, I think, so inspirational. And I'm, we're gonna start off and we're gonna look at one of her outfits and then we're gonna talk about how she styled it. Um, I actually found two brands that I did not know that were size inclusive. So we're gonna be taking a look at them and their clothing and what they have available. And we're just gonna be kind of talking about how, you know, I think making this a normal conversation about cute fashion without size is just going to be, um, it's gonna be monumental. And we are gonna take this and we're gonna, we're gonna run with it. So let me get this all geared up here so we can take a look and I wanna show you her. She, apparently she's been following me and I followed her back and I told her thank you. And I also told her I was going to be sharing um, her with you today. I do have her TikTok name down below. So if you do wanna follow her on TikTok, I say go for it. But here, okay, let me go here and let me move this a little bit over there. And so here's her first outfit I wanna, I wanna show you. Let me take this over here. There we go, all right. I'm size 16, 18, 47 years old. I'm here to show you that you don't have to buy into society's ideas about what style looks like no matter your size or your age. I love a good trouser. The nice thing about something that feels very menswear is it's also pretty classic because you know menswear styles don't change that often. Let's start with this cream trouser. Plus size bodies are often told to stay away from chunky knits and stripes, but we don't have to listen to that. You don't have to visually shrink your body or sacrifice comfort for style. Remember, bodies were made to change and aging is a privilege. Fashion and style is not a frivolous pursuit. So I hope you join me in wearing what we love and taking up some space. I mean, I love her. I mean, this is like the cutest outfit and it's this is an outfit that I would wear this is an outfit that I think you can wear at any age and she's absolutely correct I mean just like we're being told over 50 that we have um, limitations on what we're supposed to be wearing the size inclusive community has the exact same thing and then on top of that it's like 
you have an age thing too. So it's like a double whammy. And so I really appreciated this outfit and I love everything about it. Now, yesterday I wore those men's um, wear trouser, trousers, trous I can't say the word, trousers. Let's say pants. I wore, excuse me, I wore the men's wear pants yesterday and that I got at Topshop. I love this chunky sweater and this coat and everything. So we're going to take this outfit inspiration and we're going to go shopping. All right. Now, I thought it would be fun if we looked at these things together and I really want to like explore together. Because for me, sometimes the actual shopping is the fun part of our journey. So what we're going to do, and two of the brands that I did not know that were size inclusive is one is Madwell and the other one is H&M. And I was like, wow, you know what? I, I love H&M. I mean, well, for me lately, H&M has been kind of a hit and a miss, but I really think that they have some styles that used to be where you would think of H&M, you would think like, oh my gosh, you have to be yeah, like 18 and 100 pounds, and it's just not that way anymore. So we're going to go looking for a pair of menswear trousers. We're going to look for that sweater. And then she also had on those cute, um, those cute shoes. And let's see what we can find. So yeah, this is, you know, it, it's about shopping for all. It's just about shopping. You all know how much I love shopping. So let me pull up H&M here, H&M, all right, and we're going to go here, I'm going to allow, and I'm going to say okay, um, oh hello, we have Margaret Riley, it says question, hi Lonnie, what made um, what make and model of hair clipper do you use your hair? I'm seriously thinking about buzz cutting mine. Also, what number guard do you use? Thanks in advance. <gasps> Hello, Margaret. Okay, I use a Philips Norelco trimmer, and I'll show it to you in just two seconds if you um, if you want to stick around. It's um, I got it off of Amazon, and what I do is on the top here is a seven, and on the side is a five, and then I take the three. And I just kind of trim up around my ears and on the nape of my neck. So I will, we're going to take a look at H&M really quick. And then um, I will show you on Amazon because that's where I got it. Um, I will show you that. All right. So we are on the H&M website. All right. So here's the thing. You, you pull up H&M and you're looking at it and you're like, wow, you know what? She is very thin. I mean, she is thinner than I do. And if you really didn't know that they had size inclusive sizes, you would just be like, well, this just isn't for me. And then you just move on. But we're going to put this to the test because I've been told that they have multiple sizes. So we're going to see, we're going to put again, let's see, um, pants. Let's see what they have. Short hair looks so much better on you than long hair. Oh yeah. I, I mean, truthfully, when I, um, when I got my hair cut, I was absolutely shocked at how different I felt. Okay, so let's just take a look at this right here. This is somewhat similar to the pants that she was wearing. So let's check the sizes. Okay, the sizes go from a size zero uh, can you, I want to make sure that y'all can see this. Yes, it goes from a size zero all the way up to a size 26. So this is right here. This is a great, um, a great jumping off point. Absolutely. Now you can do like a beige pair here. Um, they come in black. They come in um, kind of, oh, they come in a pattern. So again, they go up to a size 26. And I mean, just straight off, oops, this outfit right here is very similar to what she was wearing. So let's go ahead, let me pull you back for a little bit. Um, short hair makes Lonnie look younger, but I like my short hair. You know what, and that's just the really cool thing is, is that here's the, here's the kicker on this one. And I mean, and again, it's, it's all about you finding your inside you, all right? When I had my hair the old way, I was just, I could 
not, um, I could not get to, I could not come to grips with how I was presenting myself. I felt like I was missing a piece. And the piece that I was missing was my hair. And once that kind of like turned into my style, I instantly flourished. All right, so let's go striped sweater. And it wrote out stupid strutter, sweater. I don't want a stupid sweater. I want a striped sweater. All right. Oh, so here we go. All right, coming back. So these are very reminiscent about like what she was wearing. So let's pick one. Let's pick this one right here. And we're going to see what the size is. Oops, nope, I want, come on, open up. So sizes, again, they go up to a 4XL. They go, ev they go from a size extra small to a 4XL. I think this with a cute pair of jeans and a pair of loafers is spot on. So let's find those jeans. Let's go... Let's go, let's go cargo jeans to give it just a little bit of a flare. Mm, I don't really like those. These are cute. So we could do these jeans because truthfully, like the super skinny jeans are out and I'm not really a fan. Okay, they're out of stock, but they did go up to a size 20. And then you could have a pair of jeans like this, that striped sweater. And then let's do loafers. Just need to learn how to spell. So you could get yourself a cute pair of chunky loafers. Just like this. And the sizings on this one go up to size 11. I had some lady tell me the other day, she's like, you know what? I really like Doc Martens, but my feet are too big. She goes, I wear a size 11. And I'm like, we just have to stop telling ourselves that. We need to stop being like, I have to be this size, this age. My feet can only be this big. You know, my nose has to be this big. My ears have to be shaped like this. I can't have a weirdly shaped head to buzz my hair. And it puts us into such a pigeonhole that I'm surprised that we even get out of bed and get dressed in the mornings because we put so many parameters on ourselves and we're so self, um, we're, we're just not very kind to ourselves and we really need to stop that. So, do, do, do. okay, I was trying to see if these came in wide or um, just regular, but I think that that would be a really cute outfit. Now, one thing I want to look for H&M here really quick is I want to look for a, like a wool coat. So that way, because she had that wool coat to kind of bring everything all together. And truthfully, I'm not a real big, let me pull this back. I'm not a real, hello, Lauren. I'm not a really, Courtney, yes, I like looking younger. I don't want to look older. I am not on an obsession of looking younger, but I sure as heck am not going to do something to make myself look older. I am 100% not going to do that. Now, in looking for a wool coat, I mean, truthfully, I think it depends on how, how short you are or how, or how tall you are. My size, I'm again, I'm five foot two. I have a tendency to stay away from long length coats because this just makes me look shorter. And this would go down to my ankle. You wouldn't see my shoes and you could barely see my boots. And another thing that I really don't care in my coats is I don't like ties. I like a coat to have a button because for me, it's like the, the ties are always so thick that I can't seem to get the right knot. So they're constantly loose. So for me, I personally like the fit of a wool coat that is um, button. It's, it, to me, again, and I'm, I want to show you this, but I think it has a more attractive line. And if you are, um, you know, and if that's what, you, I mean, if you like a, a tie, go for it. But I think a button down, slimmer sort of coat has a slimming effect. And I like a button down coat much better. Now, this one is a wool blend coat. This one's actually pretty cool. Ooh, I like, okay, so this one, has a very cool call. Let's look at this one because it has kind of a cool little flair to it. But this, oh darn. 
let's go and filter product type. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sort by, nope, let's go. I thought we were in, hold on, let me pull you back here because I want to look at women's, um, I want to look at women's clothing, not everybody clothing. Not that guys don't matter, but this is a woman. Oh, this is a woman's hour. Okay, let me come over here. Let me come over here. Let me go. Clothes. And we are going to go. Hold on, we are going. Okay, well, here's something interesting. While I was looking for that coat, they actually have um, a tab right here that says women's plus size clothing. Now, let me ask you this. I, okay, so this is a, um, okay, Kathy says, I recently looked at H&M and surprised by the prices. I thought that they would be more expensive, but very reasonably priced. May have to go into a shop and get an idea for sizes. You know what? Truthfully, I would. And here's the thing. It's like when I first discovered H&M, Kathy, very much like you, I um, was absolutely shocked by the prices and i thought that they had very cute modern styles but at a price that allowed me to kind of um, shop around and experiment with my my style a little bit but this okay so what i wanted to ask you is when i was doing my research they said that like by saying right here how h&m has women's plus size clothing that that's not a a, a politically correct term anymore that it should be size inclusive and I'm just kind of curious if um, you feel the same way I mean if because originally I was going to say like plus size fashion and then I was like no I don't think that sounds right so I'm kind of curious as to what you um, have to think about that so this right here that we're looking at this is all under their tab of plus size fashion and it shows um all the things that they have. And again, I'm really pleased with them. I have these pants and I think they're really cute. So let's see again, I wanna go back to the coat, but I was pleasantly surprised that they have such a nice, um, such a nice range of sizes. So jackets and coats. We are back to jackets and coats because we're looking at jackets and coats. I like to sing. All right, so again, here she has on this trench coat, I don't like a tie. Courtney says it doesn't matter to me. Okay, I still like to say size inclusive because again, I personally, I think that it, otherwise it just, again, I think it, it's more of a labeling kind of thing. So this coat right here, again, it has, ooh, this is a nice coat. Ah, this is a very cute coat. I gonna give this one I love the dark brown let's see what it's made out of it goes now this one only goes up to a size extra large so that one's a poo poo we're not gonna look at that one we're not gonna give that one a time of day we're gonna keep going because I want to find a coat that has a nice sort of look Tina thank you so much honey I appreciate that I do appreciate that. Now this jacket right here that I'm looking at, remember when I went all cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs over that um, vegan jacket from uh, Free People that was $198? This one is pretty stinking cute also. And uh, your girl here might have to look into getting something like this because it's that Moto jacket, just like the Free People one. And Okay, does it matter to me? RMA says it doesn't matter to me. And welcome. I think that that's the first um, comment that that you've um, that you've participated in. Welcome. I appreciate you. So this one goes up to an extra large. So yeah, you know what? I might. Now, what is the pro what is this one? Let's see here. Description materials. Let's see what this is. Oh, okay. So it's a it's a it's a faux leather. So I could do that. Oh. I was looking for you, but I found myself something. I was looking for you, but I found myself something. You know what? There's not a whole lot of wool coats here, but this, no, that has a tie. Darn it. 
I am on a mission and I'm going to find you the wool coat that I want to find you because, again, here we go. Is this a, oh, nope, that's a water repellent. Mm, 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 mm. We are shopping. Okay, let me do this. Let me pull you back. Um, transition. Lonnie should rep should reap all the binnies. Oh, you're so cute. That jacket is cute, isn't it, Linda? To me, it's very reminiscent of the Free People one, and I'll take a look at that one in a minute. I'll show you. We'll, we'll look at, we'll compare them. So let's just say wool coat, because I, the longer I look for you, the more things I'm going to find. All right, bringing you back. So I was really, let's look at this one, because I think the other one was a guy coat. Oh, no, I don't want guy coats. I want women coats. Why are only the guy coats with buttons? Nothing against you guys, but darn it. Okay, so let's just take a look at this one. This one would be super cute, but let's look at the pricings because on... See? Okay, we found a flaw, and I am having the hugest hot flash right now because their jackets are not that they're not going up past an extra large large so let's say plus size coats and see what they come up with all right now that has a tie okay let's take a look at this one and see it has a tie but let's see it only goes up to an extra large so We'll give H and M, you know what? We'll give them, we'll give them an eight out of ten. I think that they need to have more outerwear. Um, they need to have more outerwear products to get a ten out of ten. But I'm going to give them an eight out of ten because I'm pleasantly surprised that they had that, and I am going to give them that. So now, really quick, let's do something really quick, really quick, and I want to show you the jacket that I was talking about and see now free people really needs to do something about their sizing I think that they would have it's an untapped market and they need to get they need to to get with the times and I will if I could if I can sway them I will okay so this is the moto jacket that I was looking at that I think that the one at free people looks very similar to this one is a hundred and ninety eight dollars and the free people or the H&M one was like 89 so I thought it was really similar so I just wanted to show you that and then really quick I need to show Oh, let's see here. I'm going to want to show you really quick orders, and then we're going to do Clipper, and then we're going to look at another TikTok and see some more fashion. We're going to look at more fashion as I have a hot flash. Okay, here's the, the clipper that I use. This is the Norelco Phil, Phillips um, clipper. It says it's been purchased twice because Robert has one and then I have one. And then um, this is what, what I use. When I first started buzzing my hair, I would use these larger ones right here, but I am now down to a seven here on top. I do a five on the side, and then I do a three up the nape of my neck. So if you want that, it's in my Amazon store. I can always put it down below for you, but that is my clipper. Now we're getting back to fashion. Let's take a look at another TikTok because then we can go shopping again. Because <gasps> you know what? I love to go shopping. All right. So we have... We've already seen this outfit. I just love her message. Okay, I saw her do this outfit and I absolutely loved it because you know that I have been obsessed with my harness lately. And I wanted to show you this outfit because she wears a variation of a harness and her outfit I think is stinking cute. So let's take a look at this next outfit and away we go. See, I already liked it this one. I thought it was cute. So I've been seeing a lot on here lately about how People have the opinion that people my age should start acting our age. <sighs> Hate to break it to you, but we are. This is how Gen X does old. We're not your grandparents, so buckle up. 
See, I loved, uh, again, she has on those menswear trousers. And a lot of times I think that we shy away from any sort of pleating in the front because I know myself, I have done that myself because I don't um, want to accentuate my midsection any more than I, I want to. I like, I, I just don't want it to be poofier. And so I have found that if you get a pair of menswear trousers that fit you properly, they're not going to just ploop out here because I think her pants right here lay very, very nicely. Now she has on her, um, her button down, which is cute. And then she has on a harness. And I know that it's something that we don't, we shouldn't shy away from. We should not shy away from these accessories. We should not shy away from modern um, trends if we find that we like them, regardless of our age and regardless of our size. I mean, she's rocking the red lip. And she, for me, was super inspirational. And I really, really, really wanted to show you that and I really, really, really liked that outfit. Now we're gonna go shopping again, cause you know what, that's just what we do. And if y'all have any questions or if you wanna go, if you are like, hey, I've always wanted to like find this or find that, um, by all means, absolutely let me know. Oh, but really quick, because you know what, I like I said, I went down a rabbit hole and I was just like, oh my gosh, I have so much to show you. I went looking and I found this website and I want to show you this website. This website is, um, it's called known supply. All right. And I found this because it said that this is a size inclusive brand. And I was like, wow, this is really cool. And I found these overalls and these overalls reminded me very much of like my, my hotshot onesies and they go from an extra small to a 4XL and I was like thank you thank you so much for having like a free people vibe in a sizing range that we can all enjoy because I enjoy me some free people clothing but I really sometimes it's just like it's kind of a bummer to just be like well you can enjoy this fashion if you fall into this certain parameter and we don't have to do that with a little bit of just looking around and a little bit of um just like I said just a little bit of looking around we can find some really cute stuff and this I, I loved and Pricing, $68. Hotshot onesie is $70. So it was just kind of like, um, to me, a very um, price comparison to that. Now, here's the fun part is I found this I, because I was looking for these overalls. So I have not looked at their other clothes, but they are very size inclusive. So I thought it would be kind of fun if we went shopping. So yay. This is what we're going to do. And we're going to go, let's do best sellers. And we'll see what they have. Again, they have the overalls. Um, they have some cute pants, some dresses. Oh, look, they even have um, like a little romper that goes all the way up to a 4X. Um, that's a cute, now that I like it in black. And then they have this cute little floral print. So I like that. And again, this is called Known Supply. They have cute little pants. I mean, I, I don't know. Tell me, do you think that, I mean, am I wrong? Am I right? I mean, I thought that this, I thought these styles were, again, very reminiscent of um, a free people vibe. And they are size inclusive. So let me know what you think. Am I on to something? Am I like, you know, did I find something cool? I mean, this is cute. Look at how cute this is. This right here. Oh, oh, it's the tank. It's the tank. And then you can find a, either matching shorts or the little bit of a longer pant. But I think the clothes is, I think the clothes are cute. And they go up to a 4X. And it's super modern and it's super trendy. So I just wanted to show you that. Uh, 
Oh, you know what? I forgot to scroll down. I didn't see your comments. Okay. Um, the jacket is cute. Lonnie should wrap all the um, benefits. Thank you again. Um, she is, um, she is cool. Yes, she is very cool. And she has some really stinking cute, um, outfits. I found the Amazon dupes, um, that I have loved. Oh, very cool. Um, oh, so Courtney says you love that brand. So you've heard of it before. Oh, that's very cool. I thought I was like some trailblazer that was like, oh my gosh, Lana, you are a genius. But I liked, you see, now here's the thing. When we're looking for clothes and we're looking for style and we're looking for fashion, I really truthfully believe that we need to find a vibe. We need to find a feel and we need to find clothes that represents how we feel about ourselves. And you know what? Margaret, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, you all are just, you're, you're amazing. And your support means more to me than you know. It really, really does. I appreciate it. Um, um, love those looks. Do they ship to the UK? Let's see. Oh, you hadn't heard from it. Oh, so Courtney, you got me confused. Had you heard of this brand before or had you not? So Kathy, let's go back and see. We're going to do a little bit of a... Let's, she would do, mm -hmm. oh, it says, okay, it says free U.S. Ship, shipping on $75, but let's just say, let's for, for poops and giggles, because I can't say what I really wanted to say, let's just put this in our cart, all right? So we're going to add to cart, we're going to view cart, we're going to continue to check out, and see. Ah, nope. Um, oh, shipping address. There you go. They will ship to... Let's go all the way down. Come on, UK. United Kingdom, right there. So yes, they will ship to you, Kathy. Okay, I don't know if you all know what this is. This is my happy dance. So if you are, it looks like they ship everywhere. So again, this is called um, Known Supply. And yeah, they're going to get, truthfully, they're going to get a, a 10 out of 10. I love the vibe. I love the fact that they have international shipping. I love the fact that their, their sizes are very, very wide. They have a lot of different ones. So let's see if we can find a jacket because we couldn't find a jacket on the other one. So let's see here, let me pull you back while I take a look and we're gonna search and um, <laughs> let's go women, let's go, come on. Oh, um, underwear, no, we don't need underwear. We don't need hats, sweaters and jackets. So let's see what they got there. Ooh, I like this sweater bringing you back, bringing you back. Um, we do love some wide fits. Look at this sweater. This one's really cute. Bringing you back. I love that sweater. Goes up to 4XL. And you know what? This sweater you could wear with any sort of pants. You could wear them with black pants, with jeans. You could wear them with, I will call them tan pants, not beige pants, because we do not wear beige. And it looks like they have more sweaters, so no real coats. But this sweater looks just like the one that I picked up at Goodwill yesterday, and I love this color combination. So this one um, only goes up to, well, it goes up to a 3XL. So there you go. I think we scored. Score, did he score, score, score. So now another brand that um, has a lot of range in sizing is Madwell. So let's look for Madwell and see if we can't find something similar to that outfit that she was wearing. And we're gonna see, we're gonna go clothing. They do have a, here we go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, sit down, buckle up, because we found some cute stuff. Um, have to go, Lonnie, we'll watch later, love you. Thank you, Tina, love you too, and thank you so much for, for my little donation, I appreciate it. Only women, exactly. 
It's like, you know what, guys? You guys get so many things. You know what? This is our little girl club. And if you're a guy and you're watching, you know what? I don't mean to exclude you, but this is definitely a, um, <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's, it's a chick hangout. What can I say? All right. So we're looking at Madwell and they actually had something on here that, um, straight up is, um, the plus size, it, they did call it plus size, so that's what I'm going to call it. But they have some really cute, um, really cute things to choose from. And I mean, they have some, this is a really cute bathing suit. I love that. Oops. There it is right there. And let's see what all they have. That's a stinking cute dress right here. I like this one. Um, they're not as price um, friendly as H&M, but you know what? It's like sometimes if you want to if you want to treat yourself to something, then you can absolutely treat yourself. And this is, this is really cute. Look. Oh, how fun. Okay. So you can sit here and you can shop and you can be like, oh, you know what? I need a, a plus size fit. And then you can switch it back and forth. And I really like that. That's, that's very cool. So I have not Oh, <laughs> Kathy says, my husband, Andy, watches too. Say hi. Hi, Andy. Welcome. You know what? I, if you want me to look for anything for you, just let me know. You know what? I like shopping for men too. I just like shopping period. And so if you need any sort of fashion advice, Andy, you jump in and you tell me what you need and I got you covered. All right. Okay. So, okay. That's a shirt dress. I'm still on a hunt for a really cool coat. But these are very, ooh, okay, this right here, I, I'm going to go and I'm going to tell you right here, this is a very cute top. I love the colors that they have it in. I think that this is a very flattering top and I 100% don't think that we should not show our arms. We need to show our arms. We need to be proud of our arms. We need to be proud of them regardless as whatever size or shape they are. Because again, and I always say it, your arms are what feeds you. They're the ones that that hug your families. They are our arms. And gosh darn it, there's no reason to hide them just because we again don't fit some sort of like idea of what they're supposed to look like. So I think that this is very cute. This is, again, I'm going to go on this top. I love where it hits because sometimes like if your top is too long, it just does not sit nicely on your hips. And that if you have extra sort of material gathering around your hips, it's just going to make this area look even larger. And I struggle with that myself. I really have a tendency to oversize my tops because I'm trying to like limit my exposure of my, my, my midsection here. I actually had somebody ask me one time, they're like, oh gosh, you have a scar on your stomach? And I'm like, nope, that's my role. And she didn't mean it mean, but it's just what she said. So I'm like, if I don't want to show it, I'm just going to hide it. And so if I'm going to hide it, I'm just going to wear extra clothes. And then what happens is, is that I end up actually having too much material in that area. So I, again, I really like where this top hits. I think it would be very flattering and the colors are, are absolutely stunning. So there you go. Madwell, I like this top. Now she had on, let's see if we can't find them. She had on a pair of pants. So, hmm, this is the first time in this website. So let's see how well I can drive around here. There you go. I really like these. Now let's see what kind of size they have. Let's see what, um, come on, come on, take me to where I want to go. Why is it not letting me look any farther? Oh, it's, Here we go, and we're, nope, it's not letting me look at those. Will it let me look at these? Nope. Hmm. Well, it's glitching, so, ooh, I like those too. Darn it, why won't they let me look? Oh, there we go. Okay, so these go up to a size 16, but I absolutely love these pants. Now, also too, 
let's take a look here really quick. Now this top right here, think about like a top with this that hits you right at your hips because just like that other top, how it was laying really nicely um, on her, her hips right there, this would do the exact same thing. And I'm wondering if it will, let's see here, um, clothing, let's see, let's go tops, tops and shirts, and see, oh yeah, it's right here. And it, here's that blue too. I really like this one. And it goes up to a size extra, extra large. And again, trying to keep like all of that extra material off of your midsection, I think, I, I personally think it would be a slimming look, a very nice slimming look. And so you can, it's just so much fun. So let me really quick, cause I'm thinking here, let's see if they have a harness because I am going to, you're going to get tired of me saying this, but um, I'm going to continue to say this. We all need a harness. I am having so much fun. And then I just found a tab that I want to look at really quick. Harness. Um, Pooh, they don't have a harness, but let me bring you back. I'm bringing you back with me. Because look at this little tab they have right here. It says pre-loved. So it says our latest substance shop now. I have no idea what this. So. Hmm. I guess if you want a purse, they didn't have as much of a, a pre-loved selection as I was hoping they would. But you know what? At least I have the button, right? And so I think that those are some really cute alternatives of some outfits for, that we need to have for fall. And we're going to take a look at another one of Dawn's outfits because, again, she just has some stinking cute outfits. Now, I want you to watch this video and I want you to pay very close attention to the fact of how comfortable, uh, how it, I she she's brave let me just put it that way she shows her body in ways that i don't have the confidence to do that and i would like to applaud her for doing that because she's so confident in her her herself that she's like here i am in a bodysuit and i'm like because when i was putting my outfit on today i actually thought about like doing a something like this and i was like mm, i can't do that and to me, it's like, um, it's, it, it, it's inspirational. So I'm going to stop, um, I'm going to stop talking about it and I'm going to show you her next video. So let's watch this. Oh. I did not realize they're going to hit me on that one. YouTube doesn't like it when I play music. Oh, all right. Darn it. Okay, here we go. So I'll sing. La 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 Look how cute. Oh, my goodness. All right. So besides the fact that I played music, it was really cute. All right. So Kelly says, I did the extra clothing thing for many years, not realizing it added extra weight. Even people close to me didn't know I was relatively small. My large chest was... Um, Fupas have, um, have massive insecurity. Yeah. You know what? The, here's the thing is, is like sometimes we hide in our clothes, whether it is a beige color, whether it's a size or anything like that, our clothes will either, um, hide us or they will accentuate us or they just represent who we are. So I have 
I have, I'm on my journey to where I'm like, no, you know what? I'm not going to hide. If I have a little bit of a, um, like a lump or a bump somewhere, then you know what? I have a lump and a bump. I mean, it's my body. And I just want to, um, just kind of like let you know that sometimes when we hide, we actually make ourselves look bigger. Um, let's see, what is the length of that top called? Let's go back because I believe they called it a, um, a crop, but let's see if we have the measurements. We're going back. Gosh, darn it. Well, you know, if they hit me for the sound, they hit me for the sound and I guarantee you they're going to hit me for that sound. They're going to hit me for that sound. Let's see here. No, gosh darn it. Come on. Um, there we go. Hmm. All right. That is not what I want. Hold on. It's Madwell, right? M-A-D-W-E-L-L. -L. Why is this not? Why is this not coming up? Um, that is so weird. What is? Hold on here. My computer's not working right. Ooh. Was it made well? I thought it was mad well. Hold on. I am on a journey here. Let's see. Brands that are. Because I went there. Hold on, please. Wow. Who would have thought? It's made well. I was always calling it mad well. Why did you guys not like, you should have been like, hey, Lonnie, what in the heck are you talking about? And I'd be like, I don't know. So let's see here. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's go back. Let's find, okay, we are back. And let's go find that shirt. We're back. We're gonna find that shirt. Okay. And here's that cute little shirt. It's a signature. It says it's um, the signature crop Oxford. Um, so the signature Oxford crop shirt. But the dimensions of it are, it says it's a regular fit. The length is designed to hit between the belly button and the high hip. Yeah, it's, I've been calling it, it's made well, but I've been calling it mad well. Who knows why I do the things. Kelly says, I had to wear a formal dress for a Christmas party and my friends were like, damn, it was all black silk floor length with a negligee neck. Thank you for the shapewear. And oh, I had to wear heels. They were shocked. I bet you were smoking it, my friend. Um, yeah, it's called made well. You know what? You got to give your girl, a, you know, a, an A for effort because I'm always saying something wrong. All right. So let's see here. So the length is designed to hit between the belly button and the high hip. Um, body length from high point of shoulder is 20 and a half inches. So it's 100% cotton and it's machine washable. So you're looking at your crop on this particular one is 20 and a half inches. Now let's do something just for fun. Let's go back and take a look at that little blue top that I absolutely loved. And let's see what the length on that one is because I really liked that top. It's this one right here. So this one is, let's see here. Do, do, do. Okay, so this one is a little bit longer. This one is um, 25 and a half or 25 and a quarter. So this one is just a little bit longer, but I think both of them are stinking cute. And again, I think if we go too, too long, it's just going to, it's going to make us look short and it's going to be too much material. So I absolutely love that. <laughs> Kathy says, Lonnie is always a five star. You know what? I definitely need, um, I need one of those things where it's like, um, I say things and then it will pop up and it will really tell you what I'm trying to think of instead of like me saying it wrong. You're, you, it, it's like almost like a addiction or a, 
what's the thing called it like in like the definition that was in the back of the, the definition so anyway I'm a hot mess but you love me anyway so that's all that matters so that was our sort of um, kind of just experimenting and looking around at fashion. And I really hope that I gave you some inspiration on um, some style tips and some like style ideas because I thought everything that we looked at was very, very, very cute. Now for tomorrow, tomorrow we usually talk about skincare and we're gonna be talking about skincare, but we're taking it one step farther and we're going to be talking about um, uh, menopause and makeup because I've started this little thing on TikTok where people are asking me questions about makeup and hot flashes. And I'm like, um, Courtney says you did a great job. Thank you, Courtney. I, we are going to be doing this much more. I think, truthfully, I love like experimenting and doing things like this because it allows me to come up with some ideas that are fun for all of us. And that's ideally what we do. We want to hang out and have fun. But going back to our tomorrow is I've been doing this little thing on TikTok to where I've been talking about makeup that I wear that can last through a hot flash. And it's really, there's been a lot of women who have been like, oh, wow, that's a really good idea. Or, or ooh, I never thought about that. And it's something that I'm going to talk about tomorrow. So tomorrow for our skincare and our makeup, it's going to be menopause and makeup. Teresa, I am so glad that you mentioned that because I did have my super bloom yesterday. And it blended up really nicely in my little Ninja blender. And I put in ice. I put in the Greek yogurt. And what else did I put? I put my Super Bloom and just a little milk because I had to bind it all together. Robert told me I had to bind it all together. And it tasted very much like the, um, oh gosh, what's that green drink? It's the green tea. Oh, Mm, hold on. I want to tell you exactly what it is. So it's a order here. So it's going to be menu. It's going to be a cold, cold drink. And it's one of their frappuccinos. Um, Kelly says, yes, please. On the makeup menopause, I can't do foundation because it literally runs off even with setting spray. Okay, I'm going to talk to you about that in just two seconds. But you know that one? Um, oh, it's a Frappuccino. Okay. It tasted very much like a, like a matcha Frappuccino. That is, ex thank you, Margaret. You, you helped me out there. Matcha, yes, D. It, it reminded me just of that. And so I put that all together. Now I did, I went grocery shopping yesterday and I want to show you something that I ended up getting because I came up with an idea again for a healthy alternative and it's not on my computer. So let me send it over. So this is what I picked up yesterday and I'm going to incorporate this into my into my say share and we're going to I'm getting so good at doing this quickly I gotta tell you I gotta tell you it's just something that we do I'm gonna come down here and bring this over here okay so what I'm going to do is I found these little acai packages and I thought that it would be really interesting to, <laughs> there we go. It's just what we do. So I got these little acai super fruit packages and it's what I want to do. It ends up looking like this in the bowl. So I have a little bit of granola and I'm going to go and I'm going to get bananas and I'm going to get blueberries and I'm going to make myself a little acai bowl for um, one of my meals for today. So I wanted to share this with you um, here. It's the brand and I'll let you know how that is. But my Super Bloom absolutely worked just the way I wanted it to. Now the Super Bloom um, 
it one of the benefits that it has and i'm going to tell you right now one of the benefits that worked um let's see here is it on your amazon page yes it is and what i'll do is i will it's on my amazon page under i believe it's under my favorites so let's see here i have it <laughs> under my tab of my favorite Amazon finds, which is on my page, it's right there. It's Bloom Nutrient Super Greens. I got it in the berry flavor. Now, here's the thing. One of the benefits is for gut health, and it worked. It made me, um, I like to be, um, I like to be regular. You know what? And that's one of the things. Here's the thing. You know what? I'm almost 59 years old. I have hot flashes and um, my gut health is like a team sport. All right. I, I seem to things just work a little bit differently. And I'm not going to shy away from those subjects of um, like, hey, you know what? Sometimes it's I have a little bit of a problem with with pooping there i'm just gonna say it so if i can get something like this that is going to help me in that department i'm going to be all about it and i'm not going to be shy about it you know what we as women we have so many things that we have to deal with that we have to keep secret all right you know hot flashes Ooh, don't say anything <gasps> you're on your menstrual period Ooh, don't say anything you know what your digestive system is slowing down as you get older <gasps> No, don't say anything. And I just think that that's ridiculous. You know what? If the less we talk about it, the more it's like something we need to hide. And I don't know if you're getting a vibe here, but I'm not about hiding. I'm not going to hide the simple fact that I am a woman and I have certain things that need a little bit more attention. And my foundation needs more attention. My, my fiber intake needs more attention. And I'm going to tell you all about it. Because right now, Kelly, I'm telling you, you need to, I mean, I know you're going to be here tomorrow, but by picking the right foundations and the right makeups, it's going to help you. Because before I did my experimenting and I found the ones that actually work, I would get a hot flash and it was like I had on um, paste on my face. Remember when we were in high school and we had to make glue out of like flour and water and some other crazy thing? That's how my makeup felt on my face. So we're going to talk about that and we're going to have fun. And you know what? It, it's, been a, it's been a fun episode and I've had a lot of fun with you all. And we're going to have just as much fun tomorrow talking about menopause and makeup. And I promise I'll keep the poop conversation to a minimum. So I'm sure YouTube's going to love me today. Besides the music slip and the poop talk, it's just one of those things. So I do want to leave you with one one quote. I'm going to leave you with one comment that I got um, from yesterday's episode, and I absolutely loved it. And I want to share it with you because I think that this absolutely 100% is, um, it, this is like our new, this is our new saying. And it came from, um, hold on here. Okay. It came from a YouTube and this is um, her username. I have it here. It's M-A-N-D-I-M-A-L. And it says, Lonnie thrifting rules are cracking me up. Rule number one of thrift club. Don't talk about thrift club. And I absolutely love that. So you know what? We're going to have some thrift club rules. And again, the first rule of thrift club is don't talk about thrift club. If you don't know the reference, it's Fight Club with Brad Pitt. It's a great movie. And I absolutely love that quote. It cracked me up and I wanted to share it with you. So tomorrow menopause makeup i'll have on a new outfit a new inspiration counting down to my birthday i cannot wait to join you i hope that you all had a great time we 100 will be doing more things like this i really really had fun shopping with you because you know i love to shop so until tomorrow remember be bright be bold be brave i love you all um, and i will see you tomorrow bye everyone <laughs>